Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I think I'm gonna do so good every day and I'm gonna get my video for that day up early and then I'm gonna get my video for the next day done so I'm ready to go. Not so much. <laughs> so welcome, I think it's today is day four, I think, because we had a puppy, we had a kitty, and a penguin. And today, as promised, an owl, because my sister-in-law loves them. And because I have a punnylicious Christmas from my pink stamper, we're using Happy Holidays. So I have gotten our Misty started and I'm gonna go ahead and ink up a, the stamp, which is over here. Get that ready to go as I drop it on everything. It's been a weird day today. <laughs> I've, I've gotten a lot done. Um, which is good and I've gotten a lot of stuff colored and um, I actually got a video done for after Christmas which you know you would think I wouldn't work on until I had all these ones done but you know I guess it also works this way pretty well if I do it this way which is easier to ink up from this side of the table so I think we'll do that so um, my hips have still been bothering me but I so I did a lot of coloring today that way I didn't have to move around a lot and all that jazz. So uh, let's go ahead. I can't find my Darkest Night um, ink pad. I don't know what I did with it. So I am just going to use my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Oh, and it didn't come out too bad. I think though, I just want it to be very crisp. So, and I kind of fooled around with another stamp set I had gotten and the day kind of got away from me and it just, yeah. So the day got away from me, but I'm set up very good <laughs> for tomorrow. And I feel like I say that every night to myself. Okay, so here's our stamp. So I've got the first one done, the happy holidays. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll get number two. Now this owl is from the Create a Critter. Uh, the original one, I believe. I looked it up so I could tell you and I believe that's the correct answer. And we're gonna push this all, whoops, not off the, not off the grid. We're gonna push it over to the corner. So it's in the corner. And then we'll kinda put those there. Once your stamp has been inked up and it's not the sticky, a lot of my stamps I'm using for the first time, it seems. So they're really, really clingy and sticky and angry and happy and, you know, it's late. I'm tired. I didn't sleep at all last night. As I tell you in another video, you're going to see in a couple of weeks. <laughs> I've just been all over the place. It's like, ugh. But you know what? I am, um, I don't want to say swear words. It's not really a swear word, I guess. I am, um headstrong and determined, there we go, to get through all 12 meows of Christmas this year. It seems like we have not been able to make it through those, so one year, and I feel like I'm yelling at you, which I'm not meaning to. All right, I had a little piece of fur in my stamp, so it seems, which is one of the hard things that can happen when you're stamping directly on your project. The good news is, is I don't think my sister-in-law will look at it and say, oh my God, there's an error. She really didn't want to wish me a Merry Christmas. I think she's gonna go, oh my God, it's an owl. I think is the reaction. Just a guess, but I think it is. But that's okay. We will stamp the card anyways. Um, I have a backup one here. Yep, this one came out much better. And I don't know where some of these come from. Some of it wasn't bad, but I can see one of them from across the across the desk and I'm kind of a, at a distance here. So you can, if you look, see it's kind of hanging in there and <sighs> nope, doesn't blow away. So <laughs> I didn't think it did, but I figured I'd check. All right, so we will. See, the nice thing is I don't have to fold this. I don't have to guess. I can just put this on there and off we go. Um, the paper we're using is from Recollections and it's from a couple years ago. 
and it's um, called Jolly Jamboree, and I just love it. I think it's adorable. It's one of my favorite pads. It's just so cute. So I probably should show you on a different um, piece, and I probably should wait to do this one. So I think we're going to wait to do that one because it's not folded, and I don't want to stick it down and have it not be in the right area or not folded right and not even, and you know how I, you know what happens with me. I go a little crazy sometimes. Okay, so what I did was, oh, and that's stamped up a little high. Oh, maybe it's this way. Nope, it's that way. Okay, and I stamped up a little high. It just means I will have to take a little off the top. I was kind of trying to keep it a little longer for this one. I'm gonna take just an eighth of an inch off and see. See, it's those best laid plans. My, um, okay, it was this way. I'm just trying to make sure that's the right direction, yep. Oh, it's this way. <laughs> I see, I can't even think. Um, I, my owl, I made him a little big. Oh, that looks like a lot. That's more than a, a scotch here off, so we're gonna, we're gonna guesstimate. It is late and I'm in pain, so we're going to give a little guest of it to it. And that works for me. I kind of wanted to go old school. I've been doing a lot of embossing and um, I just wanted to do some simple stamping and some, you know, I've been using the, I'm just like loving my Cricut, I've missed it so much. You don't realize how much you miss something until you don't do it for a while. So I've really missed it because I've really enjoyed it. So I, um, as you'll see, I've done my fair share of coloring as well. So you guys will see that too, but I kind of wanted to go old school when, you know, there was no ribbon. You just kind of had a piece of paper and you had your stamp sentiment and your image and that was it, you know, and this, this is going flat. Um, as you know, when I've been making my cards today, I've kind of just been making um, some of them with dimension as far as the eye can see and some flat, because you never know what you're gonna need. More times than not, you might need to grab one out of your stash. Like if you're going someplace, you're like, oh man, I forgot to send them a card. Um, but you know, in that instance, generally you can just grab one and go. Okay, there's our little owl. Happy holidays. Okay, I'm getting a little silly. Time to stop now. I'm getting a little crazy, little silly. Okay, so that one was totally flat. And this one, we're gonna pop up the pattern paper and I don't know yet what we're gonna do with the owl. So we are living on the edge. And if I had a half decent singing voice, which I do not, I do sing when I'm alone and Catman heard me sing. So I told him, I said, that's it. I have to kill you now you've heard me sing. <laughs> um, I used to sing really good, but you know, when you're just in your craft room and you're bebopping along and you're going with the music and you're just letting it fly, not worried about how it sounds. It's kind of what I was doing. And I kind of think I want him popped up too. Yay, more pop. Anyways, I was saying, if my voice was better, I would have sang a bar of Living on the Edge right there. I've been listening to some Aerosmith. I listened to Christmas carols uh, one day when Catman was here and with my crafting and everything else has just been kind of my normal, like my normal tunes. Although I did, um, Amazon was having a contest um, where if you listen to the Prime Music playlist, or Prime Music, or I don't even fully know what it was. I listened to Prime, so I was covered. Um, if you listen to it, then you were entered in to win $25,000. So I did that. So I just kind of like was footloose and fancy free with the music here. I was just living it up. I had some different playlists going. Having a good old time. You can do pretty much anything if you have music. You know, I used to have music at work and everything too, because it just kind of helps everything go by a little faster. 
Oh, that's gonna drive me nuts. Oh, it's actually, it's actually a piece that I can pick up. Maybe the one is on that card over there too. I don't know if it's, uh, I think it's a piece from my ink pad. I think I need a new ink pad. So I'll have to tell Crafty Claws that I do need a new ink pad in tuxedo black. And unfortunately it kind of puked on my project, but that's okay. It will all be all right. Cause like I said, my sister-in-law is not gonna get it and go, oh my God, there's an error. Did you see this right here? She really doesn't love me. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. She's gonna be like, oh my God, I got an owl card. She's gonna be so excited. She loves owl cards. She's pretty happy about owls. So I always try to make her something owl-esque. Okay, and what we're going to do, cause I'm kind of winging it here because I didn't score this one and my scoring thingamajiggy is in the drawer in front of where I am and blah, blah, blah. So to make it easy peasy lemon squeezy, we are gonna go and just kind of lay that there so I see where the fold is. And we're gonna guesstimate a little bit here. We're doing a lot of guessing tonight. We're just like guessing, like crazy. Yeah, so I'm a little, I'm tired, I'm exhausted. I'm in pain, I've been alone in a room by myself. <laughs> the coloring, and then I hung out with my oldest and dearest friend in the whole wide world. Nobody else like her. She is literally, I used to say she's my soulmate, um, but uh, Catman's kind of like, huh. <laughs> so now she's my friend soulmate. Well, she's always been my friend soulmate. She is, I would literally say the other half, you know, if, uh, if in friendships you each have half, she's definitely my other half. We're a lot alike and like the same things and such and such and such and such. Okay, so um, this one, so this one, it kind of threw up on my paper a little bit worse there. So I will do something with that one. I don't know. I could just use it for scrap and use it to cut uh, people and critters and such out of. Um, and so I'm going to show you this one <laughs> like that. And then we'll put him right here. Oop. I'm like terrified now that there's going to be more black schmutz. I don't want that. Okay, so this one, I popped up the background paper and the paper is, the card is an A2 size card and this paper is four by four and a half um, on this one and this one. And then this one is four and an eighth. I trimmed a little bit too much off, but I got nervous where my happy hula days was so high. Um, so this one is totally flat, uh, suitable for any mailing. And this one is a flat background paper with a popped up image. And this one is popped up pattern paper and popped up critter. Oh, and that's like really uneven and yikes. Okay, before I digress and go on and on and on and bore you to death if I haven't already, that's where I'm gonna say I think the card's done. I'm gonna go inside and um, I'll probably put the from our house to yours um, or I may stick with uh, just a Merry Christmas from my pink stamper because I kind of like to put them all together. Like, so if I use Happy Hula Days for my pink stamper, I like to use a Merry Christmas for my pink stamper. Um, Cause a lot of times the fonts will match or they'll be complimentary. So that's really my reason for doing it. And it's a little OCD. So I kind of like to have everything matching. So it just, yeah, using Memento with my pink stamper was a little odd tonight, <laughs> but eventually it's gonna have to happen cause my ink pad's gonna dry up eventually. So anyways, thank you so much for stopping by again. Don't forget to stop by tomorrow for day five of the 12 meows of Christmas to see what I have in store for you. If you've missed any of them, stop by my YouTube channel or my blog at www.crazycatladycraft.blogspot.com. Happy crafting.